Hi YouTube, it's me Josh, uh, Kylan here. Um, I had a video request from Sean, Mr. Fixit Lee. Um, we did a little bit of uh, back and forth on YouTube. Uh, he asked me um, to do a video on engines running. I cannot do that because it's I'm kind of short for time, and it it'll take. It'll take a lot more to set all these engines up and get them all running at time than I have time for. So I'll just do a brief, uh, like, how a steam engine works. A steam engine basically takes water in the boiler. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I still have my cold, somewhat of a cold. Water in the boiler, heats it up, produces its ste it steam, goes into a cylinder, and rotates the flywheel. Um, the flywheel helps smooth out the rotation, the firing of the piston. I'll be going through a single acting wobbler, a double acting wobbler, and a slide valve engine. First I'll start with, very simple with a single acting. <coughs> um, a uh, single acting wo uh, wobbler is pretty much the simplest you can get. Um, all it is is it, there's a, um, a plate here and a cylinder. The, this has a port and there's a port matching on the cylinder. So <clears throat> uh, when it's like right here with this cylinder up this this port right here lines up with the cylinder pushes it out the flywheel rotates it points it down and the this expels out this little hole right here I have this little piece of metal here to keep the fire going uh, this one's a fuel tablet fire one it's my only one it stinks like heck <coughs> so I don't really run it that much um, this is your throttle your whistle right here, your safety valve, and your steam line. Be careful the steam line gets very hot when these are running. Basically have a water level here. Uh, you can just use normal. Uh, this is just distilled water. Uh, that's the brand I use. <coughs> Probably won't use any other brand of distilled water. <coughs> yeah, um, I will be showing the different parts of this engine because it's a lot easier to get at than this one <coughs> and I'll show you all the, the ports and stuff like that um, yeah that the uh, single acting wobbler it's very basic heck I can even take the cylinder out that's the <coughs> cylinder of the uh, of the steam engine sorry um this camera doesn't really do good focusing well. This is a little brass cylinder steel thing pressed in and a hole which connects to this right here <coughs> and that's the crank throw and you can see just by doing that it moves the flywheel. You actually can see like this this right here is the int <coughs> intake port. This right here is the exhaust port. Um, and there's a corresponding um, thing on the cylinder. There's just one. See that little hole? <coughs> That's the intake and exhaust port that that allows steam and uh, exhaust to happen. Um, as I mentioned, the flywheel um, smooths out the firing of the cylinder. <coughs> the heavier the flywheel, the smoother the engine is. Um, yeah, there's normally a steam engine is fired by some type of fuel, or in case these models, uh, electric. The these two models right here are electric <coughs> yeah um, moving on to a double acting same as a single acting 
but <coughs> you have firing on both top and bottom of the cylinder. I can't take this uh, cylinder apart because it's press fit, but I sure can uh, take um, the <coughs> I am sort of kind of don't want to do it, but same thing here. <coughs> you have your steam line coming into the top instead of the side. <coughs> um, this is the valve body. There's two ports for two ports. Or there's a intake intake on this side right here. So like when it's like this, steam goes in here, pushes this down. <coughs> And when that does it, this cylinder, this side of it is exhausting. When it rotates like this, steam's forced that way. And this side, this top, this side of the piston is <coughs> exhausting. Um, you can see it's a vertical oscillator. Uh, what it means by oscillator is this whole cylinder rotates. <coughs> and there's a on both these engines there's a little spring here <coughs> and that tensions this cylinder I'm doing it one hand there one handed as you can see there's quite a bit of play in that that, that tension keeps it this emitting surface and you can just adjust the tension by tightening that screw <coughs> The screwdriver is a little bit too thick. Um, here's your throttle, whistle, safety valve. <coughs> uh, there's the shaft for the flywheel. These are your pulleys. Here's the flywheel and here's a pulley here on this one. Here's the shaft. Um, this is a Jensen 60. This is a Jensen 70. Um, this was my first one, this was my second one, this is was my third one, and this is a 25. Um, this one is set up to run this generator. I'm not sure how many volts this produces. I will be checking when I get a chance. <coughs> now on to the Jensen uh, 25. This is a slide valve engine. Um, one of the most complex uh, steam engines there is. Uh, this is reversing. This is the reversing lever. Here's your throttle, whistle, safety valve, steam line. Goes into this top. <coughs> um, <coughs> um, this right here. Um, this right here, this little nub, that's the valve. Um, it's a piston type valve. Um, <coughs> um, see, there's a. This actuates the flow between the front and the rear of the cylinder, which here's the exhaust, um, <coughs> which is controlled by these eccentrics right here. Um, give me a sec, I need a... By these eccentrics here, as this thing turns, those eccentrics are connected <coughs> to this right here. <coughs> and that actuates the valve, which determines what side of the cylinder is exhausting and which side is in taking or vice vice versa. Uh, this sh <coughs> uh, here's the um, the um, with the side valve. It's a little bit more complex because you need to have a straight shaft, which is just like this. This one you don't need a <coughs> another connecting rod. Um, I forget. Uh, forget what it is um, to actually allow this to turn if that didn't wasn't there it won't work because there's no movement <coughs> this is 
These eccentrics are, I think, uh, 180 degrees out of phase. So when this eccentrics up, this this first one, which I'm pointing to, um, uh, this first eccentric right here is up and this one is down here's a f another little roof pulley another one which is driving this replica governor normally a, this is a centrifugal governor actually invented by James Watt who <coughs> improved on the Newcomen engine it's uh, early pumping engine uh, yeah uh, he invented that, the pressure gauge, the double acting, and the condenser, which not many people know. <coughs> and then you have another, another set of flywheel uh, pulleys here. Here's your flywheel. There's been modifications that you can do is increase the uh, size of the flywheel. <coughs> you have to cut a little bit out of here. What I would like to do is actually have a container to catch all the <coughs> uh, all the condensate and have a funnel. Yeah, but that's for some other time. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, message me in the video. I'll be glad to answer you. This is just a general overview. <coughs> overview. There's a, a lot of different types of steam engines. There's a Corliss, which is very <coughs> advanced. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, there's simple ones, there's complex ones. There's also uh, Willisco steam engines. Uh, they're another big brand um, of steam engines. They don't use uh, this type the Stephenson linkage, that's what this is called. They use a slippy centric um, where <coughs> all you do is um, just uh, rotate this other way and it will rotate this one. You don't ha you can keep the steam like a slippy centric, you actually have to rotate this the direction of, of rotation you want. Um, <coughs> But with this, all you do is flip this, and it changes <coughs> what the which eccentric it's running on. Like right now, it's running on this first one, but when I flip it up, it's running on this back one. So we'll rotate the other direction. <coughs> um, uh, let me find a uh, picture of a. Uh, we'll just go with <coughs> a slippy centric. I uh, should find a good one. Right now I'm mi on mini steam, just looking. <coughs> this one will work. Uh, this is a, a mini steam photo. It is a Willisco. It's a Willisco D15. You can see right here. Uh, right here. I hope you can see that. But right here where my mouse is, that's the sl slippy centric. And there's a little bit of a notch right there. <coughs> and that dictates what direction this flywheel moves. All you do is flip it which way you want to turn it. <coughs> this movie is getting, their video is kind of getting too long. Um, they have various steam engines. Um, yeah, like one of their top line models, their D21, 421 bucks, 95 cents, and it is a fuel tablet fired one. <coughs> probably if I get this, I probably won't. I would get a fuel, uh, a propane burner, propane butane, whatever. Same for this one, this steam engine right here. <coughs> um, I would get a propane burner. Uh, this one right here. Um, I figured out like with the proper jet, this could run, or I think roughly 22, 
actually I think 10 hours maybe or 20 hours on one tank of like camping gas which is kind of good <coughs> yeah this is property of ministeam.com uh, their website is ministeam.com m-i-n-i-s-t-e-m wait e-a-m dot com <coughs> um, this is my computer um, yeah, ministeam.com, the Great American uh, Toy Company, <coughs> that's how it's spelled in .com. Yeah, they have a bunch of other brands, they have fuel, they have oil. I recommend checking it out, same with mini castings. Uh, <coughs> yeah, it's pretty unique. Um, uh, hopefully this answered all your questions on how Steam's, Steam works. Um, if you need to ask any questions, I'll be, feel free to <coughs> answer them. Yeah, I, this is a wobbler, a single acting, double acting wobbler, double acting, uh, reversing, <coughs> um, a Stephenson linkage. This is, run, only runs way mammon, which many Steam has, have reverse, be, reversing, uh, wobblers it, it's a whole fully whole different mechanism for me um, if you have any questions please uh, message me I'll gladly get back to you I'm on YouTube pretty much every day uh, thanks for watching happy steaming I'll see you in the next video